I'm Juliana from Hardcore Italians, and you're watching Italian Things with G. Today, we're going over our blog post titled, Top 10 Things Italians Own That Non-Italians Don't. Italian Americans are a different type of breed. We have different things, we have different needs, we have different wants. Which means we have different things that other typical American families don't have. And I'm gonna tell you a list of 10 specific things. So keep on watching if you wanna know what they are. Number one, old pasta makers. I'm talking about the old school, crankable, do yourself by hand attached to the table pasta maker. It's been used for generations. Your arm kills after it. You can skip arm day. This old pasta maker, for me, when I think about it, I think of Christmas because we always used to make pasta all together at Christmas time and we do it by hand. Number two, an enormous amount of frozen sauce just in your freezer. Just sauce on sauce on sauce on sauce on sauce on sauce. You will never run out. But guess what? We're still making more every single week. But you know, just in case. More in the freezer. You say this to like your American friend and they're like, sauce in the freezer, like what? My jar of ragu's in the pantry. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just can't believe people enjoy that type of sauce. I know there's some good sauces on the market, but like those stereotypical ones. Number three, brioschi. That blue bottle when you're younger, you have no idea, but you always see it and it looks kind of fun. Yeah, no, this is for your stomach pain. This is for your agita. This is for when there's a fire, when there's a zombie apocalypse. You are gonna be using brioschi, so it's always on hand in an Italian-American household. <laughs> Number four, you got more than one fridge, okay? Because one fridge is not enough. You need two. You need the one in your kitchen. You need the one in your second kitchen that's in the basement that your mom doesn't want to fry things in, you know, above, so she, they made a kitchen downstairs so she could fry it over there. It's not the end of the world if she kind of like gets oil all over the place in the basement, yeah. And then there's the fridge in the garage, and it's not a new age fridge. This fridge is from the 70s. Every Italian American family has this fridge from the 70s, and we don't switch it. It's fine. It's been working like that for years. This is typically where you get like, you know, your mock stores, like the big pot of Sunday sauce is stored in that fridge outside. You need more than one fridge. That's just like stereotypical. And I remember people were like, whoa, why do you need so many fridges? Like it was weird to them. And I'm like, how do you not have more than one fridge? Number five, an Italian horn. I'm not wearing mine right now. I wear a little charm with a G on it because my name is Giuliana with a G. But I do have the Italian horn and when I'm not wearing this charm, I'm wearing that one. The horn is very important to me and it just makes me think of my nonna and how she gave it to me when I was 13. And I really felt like a woman the day I put that around my neck. And I also felt very protected. Number six, a 70 year old pizzelle maker that just, I don't know how it still works, but it makes slapping pizzelle. Nona would always bust this out around Christmas time or like New Year's Eve type vibes. I just remember, oh, she has the best one, the best one. I have a family recipe, by the way. If you guys are interested in knowing, leave a comment. I've had some good pizzelle, but I've never, ever, 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 and I'm not just saying this because it's like my grandmother, I've never had better pizzelle than my grandmother. My Nona's pizzelle are just bomb. If you're trying to fight me and say yours is better, uh-uh. Let's have a duel. I would enjoy this duel because it would involve eating pizzelle. She doesn't use butter, she uses like the Fleshman's butter, or whatever, Fleshman's, I forget how to say it. But I know that's like definitely a secret. If you guys wanna see the recipe, like maybe I'll share it. Maybe I will, I'd have to ask my nonna first because this is like family recipe. This is the best pizzelle recipe you've ever heard of. I just burped, I have achita. Where's the brioschi? Number seven, a solid espresso pot. Every Italian lunch and dinner ends with espresso. The espresso that comes from the pot like that, the best way to enjoy the pizzelle that I was telling you guys about. I love it. And again, if you're gonna buy a new one of these pots, it just won't taste the same. It's like, just the energy is not there. It's like brand new energy. Like I want the energy that like, the conversations that were talked about while sipping on this espresso, like I want all that energy. So like, I'm gonna beg Nana for that pot because I want those memories and that energy in my house someday. Does that make sense or do I sound crazy? Number eight, unused china in a china cabinet. It's just for looks. It's just for looks and we're making memes about it now. Now this china is used for special occasions only. I still don't remember the last time we used them though. It's been my birthday and we didn't use it. 
I think it's so funny how every Italian family has this cabinet. You don't use it though, but we had this crystal. We had these plates at our engagement party. We had this china as a wedding gift from this cousin you've never met. That's, <laughs> that's the energy of this cabinet. Number nine, a collection of crosses and madonnas all over the place, hidden. Maybe there's a special place Ma or Nonna likes to pray or Nonna or whoever. There's always like a rosary just like laying out as like a decoration but also like use them if you'd like. Everywhere you turn, Mary, Jesus. They're always watching and they're always protecting this household. And lastly, number 10. Random containers used for leftovers or already filled with leftovers. This could be like old, uh, I don't know, yogurt containers, you know those plastic containers, you could reuse them but most people throw them out. Yeah, no, Italians, we keep these things. We love to recycle. It always makes me laugh when I'm like in TJ Maxx and there's like really nice containers that match. And I'm like, wow, someday in my house, like will I have these? Will I commit to making them all match or will the Italian in me like not allow this and continue to use the Tupperware that we've been using for decades? The same yogurt container. <laughs> that we've been keeping meatballs in. But I always think about this. Like, will I commit to the new Tupperware? Will I just keep the tradition going? What are you gonna do? Leave me a comment down below and tag Paisan and ask them what they're gonna do too. <laughs> this was Italian Things with G, and thank you so much for watching. Ciao!